Now we are going to download and install Apache ActiveMQ. Write ActiveMQ download on Google search bar. And you will see Apache ActiveMQ download the Apache Software Foundation page. Click on this one. Now you can see the download page for the ActiveMQ. You can choose to download the old releases. There are archive link. But we are going to select the current one. And uh, according to your operating system, you may download the Windows version or you may download the Unix version. We are going to download the Windows version. Just save the file to your download directory. After the download finish, you can see Apache ActiveMQ zip file which is around 59 megabytes and you can unzip it to a folder and when you unzip it the Apache ActiveMQ is already ready for running we can copy this uh, directory to another place I will cut it and pass this to another location for my development example for the messaging queues. Now we copied it under the C development and JMS directory. Now we can go here. We can open the comment line and start the ActiveMQ. Let's go to this directory. When we check this directory, that, that is the root Apache ActiveMQ 5.14.3 version. And under this directory, you can see binary configuration data docs examples library. And when we go to the bin, you will see the executable. Now you can see ActiveMQ and if you want to start the server ActiveMQ you just need to write ActiveMQ start and this is going to start and for stopping you, you should use ActiveMQ stop. Let's start it. As you see it's starting server. Now the server is started and we can check it running from the, our browser localhost 8161 here. Let me check it. Now it's going to ask for the username and password. The default is admin and password is also admin. As you can see, ActiveMQ is up and running and uh, you can save the password or you may not. You can check the queues running. We, there are no queues now. We will see that uh, in our later example. Uh, how the queue is going to be created with Java and Spring and you will see the messages coming produced and consumed. Now we downloaded ActiveMQ, we copied it in a directory, we unzipped it and uh, we wrote the command start and uh, now it's up and running on our local host machine 8161 port and uh, we logged in with admin and admin username and password. This is for how to download and install Apache ActiveMQ. Thank you.